Hello, this screencast is for the uh, user on Twitter, uh, Switching Granny. Uh, she asked me a question about how I could, how I moved my iTunes library from the laptop on my, my on my MacBook Pro right now, and I have, uh, I still have the library over here in the music iTunes folder. I still have it. Now I've deleted a, a lot of the content that uh, was was in here just because I want the the extra space on my hard drive. Uh, I also have a, a G5, a Power Mac G5 that's got uh, a tera and a, a terabyte and a half of uh, data on it. Uh, I can always get that uh, data later. So the laptop is just a small, slim. Just, just the bare essentials music that I want to listen to when I'm on the go. Um, I can also have a slightly larger library or even just simply a backup on my time capsule volume. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But for right now, I have the, uh, the iTunes music. Music, iTunes, and as you can see right here. Um, now, what I've done is I've put it on the time capsule and it will come over here and mount to the desktop and now I've got uh, as you can see this is where I back up um, my MacBook Pro and my, bu my brother's MacBook Pro I also have the 500 gigabyte hard drive in the time capsule as just a general file storage place uh, I've got the space for it um, so I'll just come over here I, c I created this file Brent, roommates and whatnot and so what I did was just drag and drop let me open up another finder from music iTunes here's the time capsule here's the local drive all I did was just take this drag and drop it over there once it's copied over then I started going through the uh, iTunes library that was on the internal hard drive and deleting the stuff that I just didn't didn't want but I can still I still have a copy of that on the external hard drive that I can stream from if you will and I'll show you how to um, point iTunes to that new library on the time capsule so when I come down here in the dock I'm going to hold down the option key and then click on it and it's going to ask me, well, choose library. Well, that's what I want to do. And so instead of it pointing to music folder on the local drive, iTunes, I'm going to point it to time capsule. Uh, it happens to be in Brent's file. And there, iTunes. And I'm going to say open. So I am here right now. Um, streaming these files off of the the time capsule. Um, I'm wireless now. Note that uh, you know, say I take this laptop over to a friend's house. Well, the next time that I try to open this library, let's let's just say turn off the uh, airport, and I'm not plugged on Ethernet. I want to close out iTunes. So if I try to open it up, it's saying I can't find it. And the reason why is because it's pointing to, it's trying to point to the time capsule. Well, I turned off the, the, the internet connection on the computer. It's like, I can't find it. Um, and that's when you can say, if you're traveling out and about, you can say choose library and actually get it to point back to your internal hard drive. So hopefully um, that right there, uh, answered your question. I know uh, watching a video is always more helpful than um, reading a tweet on how to do it. So if you have any questions you can email me at brent underscore Cameron at Mac dot com that's b-r-e-n-t underscore Cameron c-a-m-e-r-o-n at Mac dot com. Thank you.